you know, there's been some very peculiar weather in New York over the past few months. Maybe if AOC cranked open her gigantic ass jaw and looked up at the sky, we wouldn't be having this conversation as she could have easily sucked up all that rain and then we just drag her bloated ass over to the East River to evacuate the sewage properly. These scumbags were publishing articles about climate change while people were drowning in their basements. They do not wait one second before revealing their true colors. They have chosen an agenda, a lie, they believe will give them complete control over everyone. Millions of society members all in on one lie to deceive the masses for their own benefit. If you think that many people can't keep a secret, nurses and doctors have been doing it for the past two years. Nurses and doctors have done it their whole lives. Same crap happens in Texas. They create fake snow and shut the power grid down. California, they smoke people out with the wildfires. There's a natural disaster for every part of the world they can use. New York region's historic floods send deadly climate change lesson. The remnants of Hurricane Ida brought a tropical deluge of unprecedented proportions to the New York City metro area on Wednesday night into Thursday. Driving the news, the flooding that resulted from the heavy rainfall shut down Newark Airport and turned city and country roads in all five boroughs and surrounding areas of New Jersey and Pennsylvania into rivers. Why it matters, the historic deluge clearly demonstrates that climate change is winning the battle between a rapidly shifting climate and outdated infrastructure. I cannot stand these scumbags. You know, it's fucking hilarious. They literally control the weather to dump an unheard amount of rain on New York City and then say, oh no, climate change. It's like someone shooting you in the chest with an illegal weapon and then saying, we need stricter gun control laws. What's also hilarious is they're trying to backtrack saying they warned us. The intrigue, two days in advance, the National Weather Service had explicitly forecast a dangerous flash flood scenario would unfold. However, pinpointing the exact zones of heaviest rain remains tricky, and some New York City residents may have been unaware of the scale of the flood threat. That's the best they got. One Twitter account with 300 views. No mainstream news stories, no mainstream news coverage. Almost like they wanted to take us by surprise. You can bet if they have the technology to control the weather, they could tell how much rain we're going to get down to the milliliter. Furious New Yorkers slammed de Blasio for giving no warning after Hurricane Ida. New York City Mayor only declared state of emergency after Seven people, including a family of three, were found dead in their basements as tri-state death toll rises to at least 26. 25 people are dead across the Northeast, including nine people in New York City alone. Eight people drowned in their basement homes in Brooklyn and Queens, including a two-year-old boy. Their bodies were all found between 10 p.m. and midnight, but a state of emergency wasn't declared until 11.30. The subway system was not suspended until 10.48, and a flash flood emergency went out at 10.45. The National Weather Service in New York had declared it an hour earlier, shortly before 9.30. Furious New Yorkers blamed de Blasio for not giving them more warning or communicating the severity. De Blasio said on Thursday he thought three to six inches of rain would fall all day, but 3.5 inches fell per hour. Governor Kathy Hochul said she was now investigating whether more could have been done to warn the people. De Blasio, AOC, and Senator Chuck Schumer all took the catastrophe back to climate change on Thursday and asked for more commitment from the White House on going green. President Biden also spoke on Thursday about Ida, but he devoted his speech to climate change too. In the meantime, some 25,000 people in New York City were without power and bodies were still being found in the water. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If people watch the news and see that shit and they don't find these people and drag them into the East River themselves, I don't know what to tell you. We can expect many more events like this to come every few months and these degenerates will smile in your face after killing people. They'll say, oh, you should have listened to us on climate change. You better stop eating red meat or we're going to kill you in your basement with too much water. 
they're weaving in this climate bullshit with the you know what. <coughs> I'm sick. As soon as people are done and fed up with being locked inside their homes like rats, they decide to go outside, but they're gonna zap the sky until it rains so much you'll need a kayak to get off your front steps. Comical. As long as I'm allowed to talk about this, which will probably be very short-lived, I will state what I believe is the truth. The government controls the weather and is going to create natural disasters in order to force people into accepting the new world order. If your home, cars, business, entire livelihood is destroyed by a flood, you'll probably eat the bugs and live in the pod. Imagine like it's an ocean and you're standing on the roof of your house and they come along in a boat and they say, are you injected? Oh, okay, if you're not here, take this and we'll let you on the boat. That, that's literally what we are coming to. And, and this is way beyond this video and it's hard to explain this, but I believe that all of history prior to around 1900 it is completely faked. I think all the infrastructure, all the buildings, especially places like Europe, New York City, everywhere, all of this architecture is ancient. And those people that were intelligent enough to make that stuff have very well written history that is disguised by our leaders. Our, our entire history is fake, everything is fake, and the reason I'm bringing that up is because they have technology that you can never imagine. You really think we went from not having cell phones 50 years ago and that stuff advances that quickly? <laughs> That's not how it works, buddy. That's not how it works. Everything's a lie, and to convince people of that is uh, beyond my duty. So, I bid you farewell. And it's kind of funny because I was laying outside tanning earlier, and I couldn't even drive down to, to my job to see if my warehouse was flooded. All the roads were shut down, yet perfect weather the next day. Go figure. So thank you guys for joining me. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, share it before I'm not allowed to talk about climate anymore. And uh, you can also go to frank com to support me through all of my businesses. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.